Yep, that's right. Another freaking door broken. It's the second door we've broken. The door, we already have the door. We just haven't put it on yet. It's going to be on its third door. We hit a bail, door was open. By my dad, of course. It's doing good. 1200 hours on it. Not much has changed. And then we got the skid steer, 98 New Holland. Nothing's changed, and the, this slots has changed. I got the grill on here. Kind of looks ugly, but who cares? New tires, 245s with a 16 inch rim. Pretty cool. They look kind of weird. But I actually found these tires at the dump, so they costed me zero dollars and zero cents, which is awesome. I mean, who doesn't like free, right? And got a new battery. Oh, these are new tires. They don't look new, but they're used. They're pretty good. They're not radials. We'll be tractor pulling with this thing, so we can't have radials for tractor pulling. They don't let, they don't let us do that. This box is finally done. I gotta, I'm gonna tack it on right there. I'm just gonna put some tacks right here. PTO guards off, but I wanna tack it right there. So that if this box needs to come off for whatever reason, I can easily just take a grinder with a cutoff wheel and zip it off. And, oh, see it's good? It's literally that, that bolt right there. That's the only thing. Holding on, this light has to go. That has to go. It's gonna get a zip cut off. Yeah, other than that, the 800 is pretty good. We've actually uh, been using it. I've been manure spreading with it. I didn't do a lot. But we have a New Holland 380 or 280 New, New Holland spreader. I don't know how old it is, but it works perfect with this tractor. You don't need a lot of horsepower to run it. And, uh, well, the thing is with the manure spreader, you don't need that much power. Like, this, this tractor is about 60 horsepower, which is more than enough for that manure spreader. But the thing is weight. You need, uh, you don't need a, a powerful tractor. You just need, it has to be big. It just has to be heavy enough to handle the weight of the material. And for it, for its size, it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of power. But uh, I mean, when the manure spreader is full, and you start it up, it, this tractor it will slam back and forth. But you shouldn't even be stopped when you're spreading anyway. So yeah, draw bar works good. Everything works good. Forty four. Brand new. The AC wasn't really working, so we had to put a new one on. Now it works good. We, I'm hoping a loader can go on this thing soon. I want to try to see if it's good for loading. This these stupid stairs we got to fix. Brand new seat. Look at that. Just kidding. We just replaced this part in the back and that's about it oh I put a they call it a suicide knob I don't know why but it's a really cheap one and uh, it's no surprise why I mean the John this is a brand new one by the way and the John Deere logo is already rubbed off like what the fuck John Deere come on this is 35 years old and it hasn't rubbed off so Good old quad range. Can't beat these old tractors, man. I love these old old tractors. So simple. Just freaking awesome. Yep. Almost 12,000 hours. She's definitely seen some better days. But, you know. The Heston's doing okay, except a flat tire. 
that's no big deal. Yeah, if that tire is shit, we can just steal one off the International. It's the same thing. Yamahas are put away. I'll show you real quick. All the Yamaha dogs, Yamahas. There's mine. 205s. That's an 05. That's an 03 RX1. Rage. And the two vectors. These are the two twins. And that's about it. I know it's been a while since I've filmed, but I don't film that much. The Husky's doing good. That engine kicks ass. It's awesome. That's oh shit. Just spilt some soap. Oh well. La la la. The saws are doing good. We just had a rainstorm. I'm hoping we can. Oh, I got check out the stool I made. I don't know why there's white powdery shit on there. I don't know who did that. I made this all myself. It's chain. And yes, I did weld it all together. That was a shit ton of tacking, holy crap. It actually didn't take as long as it looks like. And it's actually pretty, this concrete isn't that even. You see that? And it's just random nuts, bolts. I found some wrenches, random stuff. What else can I show you? Oh, new mask. 250 bucks, it's a Hobart. We brought a Princess Auto, not Harbor Freight. Because I'm in Canada, we don't have Harbor Freight. Instead, we got Princess Auto. 250 bucks, auto, dark green ones. It's pretty good. And there's my old one. That was like 50 bucks. It's just as good. Can't wait to uh, man. This tractor is awesome. I love my case. Yeah, we can use it for raking, manure spreading, maybe even hauling hay, dragging tires, dragging harrows. It's really a good tractor. Hell, we can even use it for mowing. Foot throttle, power steering, live PTO, a freaking live PTO on a 60 year old tractor, 60 horsepower. I only have one set of hydraulics, the, these ones right here. These ones, they're just, I haven't really used them. This is for the top ones, and then this one doesn't do anything right now. It's got a nice seat on it. Pretty advanced for a 60 year old tractor. I mean, really, it is. Now, I'm not gonna say, I'm pretty sure this was one of the first ever tractors on the market that had power steering. Because I don't know an older tractor that had power steering. So, but it, having a loader on this 4450, I mean, it looks big compared to the Kubota already. But with a loader on this freaking monster, it's going to look a lot bigger. It'll be about 10 tons with a loader on this thing. It's going to be heavy. I'm curious to see how it's going to be a good loader tractor. I'm curious because it has no foot throttle, no left hand reverser, and 
but it does have a wet clutch so you can feather that thing all day versus the Kubota that's just a dry disc dry clutch and the difference being this this wet clutch is constantly lubricated so you can you can feather it as much as you want and I'm definitely gonna have to take advantage of that because it has no foot throttle but it's a bigger tractor it's even with I mean that loader could probably lift close to 5,000 pounds the Kubota can only lift 2,000 maybe so you lift up a big bale with this tractor you're not gonna feel the back end coming up I'm curious I really want to see I think the biggest disappointment is gonna be the foot throttle I don't know I think so but anyway it's got yes yeah, see I'll have to go so I'm gonna have to go and see and then C or B or whatever I speed my speed is and then I'll have to go in one I'll have to go between one and one reverse and keep it at 12 to 1400 RPM because there's really no other way to do it. But anyway, that's uh, that's about it for the video. I can't film too much longer. Just an update. Alright, please comment, rate, and subscribe.